Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my PowerPoint game tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to animate this soccer goal game here. And this is going to be a three part series. So this is part one. We're going to animate uh, one section and then we are going to animate the other ones and bring that all together by part three. So here we have kick left, kick center, and kick right. Today we are going to animate kick center. So let's click on kick center here to see what it looks like. And we can also try uh, clicking on different ones at the bottom here. Uh, let's try clicking on here, kick right. All right, let's choose kick left to see what happens. And let's try uh, kick center this time. So again, we are going to do this together. It's going to be a three-part series. And once you uh, learn how to do this, you can use it for whatever uh, game you want. It doesn't have to be a soccer game. You can use this method for any other game that you want to create in the future. All right, so let's escape out of here. And we're going to open a brand new slide. Alrighty then, let's head over to File and choose New Presentation. I'm using a MacBook, so it might look a little different than yours. You can delete this, we don't need this anymore. And now we can go to Picture and insert a background image. I will be including all the images and backgrounds, so make sure to download that from the description box and follow along with me in this tutorial video. Now let's find a, uh, a background for our game. You can use whatever background you want, but we're going to use this one for the demonstration purposes. And now just insert it. And we want to scale this to fit the slide. You can make it bigger if you want, um, but just make sure you scale it to fit the slide, just like so. All right, now that we have the background, Let's put in our goal post. So again, go to a uh, picture from a file and let's find the goal post picture. And it should be here, soccer goal, insert. And let's align it here in the middle and adjust the size uh, to whatever size you want it to be. So let's just say it's about this big and we put it here and Let's go to Align and Align Center once you're happy where uh, you position your goalposts. Now, let's add another image. Let's go to Picture, again, from a file. And let's insert our, our uh, goalie this time. And let's choose this one for the idle image here. Great, and now we'll just scale it down so that uh, he fits inside the goal, the goal post there. All right, um, oops, a little too small. Maybe that's just about right. And that looks good and align center once you're happy with the position. Awesome. All right, um, I just wanna make the goal post a little bigger, uh, bigger than the, the goalkeeper there. All right, that looks good, align center. And now we just need to uh, insert an image of a soccer ball. So head over to picture and picture from a file. And let's scroll down to find our soccer ball here. And we'll insert that and just shrink it a little bit um, to whatever size you want. I think this is okay right here. And we'll put it right in the center here and make sure align center. All right, next we want to choose the shape tools. We're going to make a button. So head over to here, choose shape, and let's choose this one. And just draw a rectangle shape here. 
and adjust it to uh, whatever size you want. And once you're happy with the size and the length, we're going to hit Align Center. And let's remove the border here, no outline. And let's just write in here, uh, Kick Center. You can write whatever you want, but let's just use Kick Center here. And let's make it a little bigger so we can see it. So increase the font size and choose whatever font you want for your PowerPoint game. I'll choose this one right here. And uh, let's make it a little bigger and uh, let's make the shape a little longer here. All right, I think that looks good. And align center again. Now let's make it cool. All right, let's make our button cool. Click on it and go to format shape. Okay, format shape. Choose fill, gradient. And I like to set my gradient to zero. 50 and 100 and let's choose a color um, let's choose dark green here light green to match the grass and yellow is fine and let's choose uh, change the transparency here and uh, let's make it about uh, 40 and in the middle maybe 30 and the last one here maybe you can do like uh, 20 all right uh, now let's choose this one right here and go to 3D format, choose uh, bevel, the first option here, the width, let's make it 14 and height 9. You can play around with this uh, later and see which one is better for you. Let's choose special effects, this one, and for the lighting we'll choose this one right here. and. Let's put a glow on this as well. So let's go to uh, glow here. And let's choose a similar color to the rectangle. So light green, 10, size 10, and transparency 80. All right, now we got our button here. Now we're ready to animate our goalkeeper and soccer ball. Now that we have everything here, let's open our selection pane here and let's give everything a name so that we can find it later when we animate it. So let's click here and let's just give this a name. Anything will do. Um, let's see. Let's call it, um, let's see, uh, goalie, maybe goalie idol. You can uh, name it whatever you want. Goalkeeper idol, goalkeeper center, whatever you want. And let's call this uh, goal goal post and uh, let's find this one right here and this is the background so let's just give it a generic name here like background and click on this one and uh, this one will be called soccer ball and finally this is our button so let's call it kick center button now that we have everything all labeled we're ready to animate super duper the easy way, easiest way to animate is click on our soccer ball in the selection pane there and then we click on path animation and choose lines and it's going to be default it's going to move down so we're going to click on here again and choose up so we want the path animation line to go up click on this little red dot here hit shift and just drag it up to where you are happy so if this is where you're happy just uh, let go of shift and let go of your uh, mouse and now we can click on uh, the soccer ball again. Again, click on the soccer ball here in selection pane and choose animation spin. Now let's open animation pane to uh, see our animation so far. Here we have uh, the line and the spin. Let's put it under trigger and the kick center button that we created here. Let's choose that. And this. Uh, first animation is fine should be on click and for the duration let's choose 0.5 all right for the spin animation we want to click here with previous and for the duration let's set it to 0.2 we want it to spin a little fast 0.2 and repeat let's put um, custom 14 spins here, okay? Now, let's click on 
the selection pane again, click on soccer ball, and let's choose path animation and choose the bounce animation here. And just click here, drag it, and it will connect to the end of this animation automatically, see? So you can just drag it close and it will just connect automatically here. And now we'll just drag it off the screen as far as you can. We're going to add one more animation on here. So then let's click on animation here and let's drag this new animation below here. Let's choose with previous. For the duration, let's set it to, hmm, how about one second? All right. And for the delay, let's make it 0.5. All right. Selection pane again. Click on the soccer ball here and choose grow shrink here. Okay. So we want to give it the illusion of the ball flying off the screen. So let's grab this new animation and drag it down below here. With previous, the duration, let's see. Let's set it to 0.5 and delay. Let's make it uh, 0.5. All right. So now we have the soccer ball animation. Now go to effect and choose 400 to make it big. All right. So let's click on the goalkeeper here and choose this, the path animation. Choose line and choose effect to go up. The same as the soccer ball, you want to click on um, the goalie's animation and drag it here. And uh, now we're going to put with previous for the duration. We want to make it quick and fast. So maybe a point, let's say point two. And let's give it a delay as well. Let's give it a 0.3 delay. And then click here for auto reverse. So he's going to jump up and then back down. All right. Now, all we need to do is test it out. Let's click here. There you go. The goalie is blocking the soccer ball and it's giving off the illusion that the ball is going off the screen, growing big and going off the screen. But I want to make the ball go a little higher. So let's go to Selection Pane and to do that, hide everything and just click on Soccer Ball. And let's move this second animation off for, for a bit and click here, Shift. Hold shift and then click on it and just move it up a little bit. Let go of shift. And let's drag this back on. And let's try it again. All right. And it looks a little better now. So the ball is going a little higher. And then the goalie is like blocking it with his head this time. Super awesome. Okay. Part one is finished. Hope you guys enjoy this little PowerPoint tutorial. If you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get the latest materials when I put them up on my channel. You can grab the free materials below uh, this video in the description box. So grab that and follow along with me. Again, I want to say a big, huge thank you to all the viewers and subscribers. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Oh, yeah! See you on part two. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.